If you are looking to become a math major, but you're not doing so great in calculus, can you really do it? Hey everyone, it's Brian. In a previous video, I said, Overall, I think that if you're not doing well in your calculus classes, that's a big indicator that you should not be a math major. And I said this for a number of reasons. I mean, first and foremost, you have to actually take the calculus classes before you're admitted to a math major most of the time. Calculus classes are sort of that natural transition right into college, right out of high school math and getting into, quote, harder mathematics. And they really develop a lot of problem solving and analytical thinking skills. But I got a lot of comments saying that people who did very poorly in calculus, or at least average at calculus, went on to succeed at being a math major. Even they did better in the higher level math courses than they did the earlier calculus courses. And this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, or maybe it does. You see, the calculus classes mostly are sort of more computational than theoretic. They're much more grounded than they are abstract. You know, if you're pretty good at memorizing equations and formulas, and you're good at sort of just doing the plug and chug, this goes here, this goes there, I know how to solve that problem, and just computing the derivatives or the integrals or arithmetic or algebra, whatever it might be, then you can probably get through a calculus class. And when you get to the higher level math classes, well, those, as I've alluded to, are very different. It often hits students like a ton of bricks when they get done with calculus and they get into their math major and they start taking real analysis, which is supposed to be like calculus, and it is, but it's viewed from a totally different lens, a totally different perspective. You're doing things abstractly and you're building things from the ground up rigorously with proofs and definitions, totally different than how you usually approach a calculus course. And I've talked with people who really like this a lot better. They're not actually so great at computing things and they get really messed up with the algebra. You know, they drop signs or they drop twos or whatever it is. It's just so easy to get boggled and messed up when it comes to the computational things. But these people excel at the higher level thinking, the abstract thinking, all the theoretics and just taking their time and going through the proofs and the logic and they like that a lot better. So to answer the question, can you be a math major if you don't do that well in calculus? The answer is yes, yes, absolutely. But here's the thing. In my experience, the people who don't succeed at calculus but do succeed in the higher level math courses are much rarer than those who do succeed at calculus. Now I could be totally wrong about that, that's just my experience, but to me, the concepts in calculus, a regular calculus course, really are that much lower conceptually on the ladder of conceptual rigorousness, whatever you wanna call it, it seems like the concepts in calculus and just getting your head around those concepts, those theoretic concepts, it's a lot easier than the higher level theoretic concepts as it should be. I mean, there's a reason the calculus courses are taught before the higher level courses. It's because they pretty much are easier, at least in my opinion, at least theoretically, they're easier and they're designed to be. So when I say that calculus and doing well in calculus is sort of a prerequisite to being a math major and succeeding as a math major later on, I'm really, really talking about, you know, conceptually, the uh, going through the logical process of things. Are you able to problem solve? When I say calculus should be a real prerequisite to becoming a math major, it's not because of the algebra, it's not because of the arithmetic, because you've already proven those things just to get to college. You already can do those things with a certain degree of ability or you wouldn't be taking the calculus course in the first place. And so my advice is pretty much the same as it was in the other video. If you're doing well in a calculus class and you wanna be a math major, fantastic. Start looking ahead at like a real analysis class. Maybe you can be enrolled in an introductory real analysis class next semester and see how it goes. You can always change your mind. It's pretty easy to change your major these days. And one course, one way or another, isn't going to break the bank. If you just get enrolled in one of those introductory proof classes, you can see what being a math major is all about. 
On the flip side, if you're not doing so great in your calculus courses, but you really want to be a math major and you really think you should be a math major, well, my advice is more or less the same. Why don't you enroll in one of the intro proof courses? Maybe you'll find that you really succeed at that thing. Maybe you should take a look at some mathematical literature. I say this very often for students who want to be a math major. Look at a textbook math majors would use. See if that's really what you want to do. If it is, that's awesome. The world needs more math majors. I want more people to be math majors. And you know, talk with your professor. Your professor, who was probably a math major, will be able to give you insight. You know, they want more people to be math majors and maybe they can give you some guidance. So when you do well in a calculus class, that is a good marker of success to be a math major, but it's not the only one. There's other ways to do things. So regardless of exactly what your grade in calculus is, if your burning desire is to become a math major, you'll make it happen. Best of luck.